G'day Smoke and Dagger fans. Today we're getting the art of the sausage on. I'm talking a bit of brisket, a bit of pork belly, so beef and pork sausage combined. But we're gonna do something a little bit different. We're gonna give this sausage an Aussie twist. Stay tuned to find out more. All right, folks, we're gonna grab our brisket, something that's nice and marbled, and also a pork belly. We're gonna dice this brisket up. Doesn't have to be perfect. We don't have to take any of the excess fat off. We just want it small enough that it's gonna go through your grinder without getting clogged. Grab a sharp knife, run it down the middle. Easy as that. With the pork belly, first we're gonna remove the skin and then we're gonna dice it. Once that's all done, chuck it in the freezer for a couple of hours. This will keep the fat solid and make it easier to grind. Grab your hog casings and we're gonna soak them for about two hours in warm water. Grab your cheese of choice. Today we're using cheddar. Dice it up nice and small. Grab some jalapenos and we're gonna de-seed those. Unless you like it real spicy. We've taken our meat out of the freezer and then we're just going to chuck it through the grinder now. Look at that. Lovely. We're doing our best to balance the brisket to pork ratio, trying to get about a 70-30 ratio for meat to fat. Don't forget to chuck that jalapeno through as well. That's looking real good. Go to Vegemite and your milk powder. We've converted our Vegemite into a powder by dehydrating it and then blending it. We're gonna add a spice mix of your choice. The milk powder. The Vegemite powder. Some water as a binder. the cheese and then we're going to mix this all together getting there nice and deep like we want to mix this until it starts to hold together and when you pull it apart it has those little stringy bits once that's done and your whole casings have been soaked chuck them onto your sausage maker Just gonna feed this mince through, applying gentle pressure to the sausage maker so the casing doesn't come off. And once we're happy with the size and the shape of the sausage, we're just gonna give it a twist. Then we're gonna move on to the next sausage. It's as easy as that. Look at those, they're gonna be great. Let's chuck them on the barbie. Delicious. Couple of nice sear marks there as well. Look how juicy that bad boy is. You can see a bit of cheese, a bit of smoke ring, a bit of jalapeno. It's exactly what you want to see in a sausage. And that's exactly the reaction you want to see. What you can see in front of me is a beef, pork, jalapeno, cheddar, and Vegemite sausage uh, smoked over apple pellets on the smoke fire there. And what's resulted is a really velvety smooth, rich, and very tasty sausage. The meat really does just melt in your mouth. It's quite a unique texture for a sausage that I'm used to. And I guess that's probably the uh, high fat content from the minced 
pork and beef. But the cheese just really, I don't know, it's got a nice kick to it. Jalapeno providing a little bit of heat. And that Vegemite, it's, it's, it's an umami bomb in your mouth. It's really quite exceptional. This is a stellar sausage and a good cook. But that's all we got time for on the sausage cook. So if you're interested in uh, the KitchenAid uh, mince attachment, or just how to go about making your own sausages, please comment below. Uh, but that's all from Smoking Dagger. Cheers, guys. See you later.